Welcome to Tinks Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, the professional woman. Uh, so, current time of 8 27 a.m. on the Eastern Time on Saturday, on October 8th. Hope you guys have a good weekend and also happy Friday, by the way. That just passed. <laughs> Ethereum could $1,327, about 0.27% so far. On the overall crypto market, as of this morning, it's relatively flat. I would say we've been sticking around like the 1350 mark for about like close to three days so far um and on the altcoin side of the house you can see that clearly on the left side of the chart we all kind of just uh gliding up and down not really moving much besides some specific micro affectation like xrp is up currently about 6.5 percent so far um we could take a look at why that is uh it seems like we've been quite extended on the uh, with respect to the MACD, which is quite funky, despite it being extremely oversold. And I think the submerged level that we got to incentivized more of like a rebound, but this is very, you know, interesting. This looks like a cup and handle. So it seems like we have formed this cup. Now we're forming the handle. So what we need is ideally come down a little bit to like the 49 cents and then pump up from here. So this is a very bullish sign. Um, but there was a delay on the RSI. You can see that we actually quite extended at 67 of 70. So yes, it needs to cool down a little bit in midway and then pump up from here. Let's take a look at the weekly. Yeah, the weekly is quite interesting, uh, but again, this is also triangulating uh, and foreshadowing some normalization. So it needs to come down, consolidate a little bit before we go up. On the monthly, yeah, same thing, quite bullish as well. So again, just a specific micro affectation. And on the stock side, obviously on Friday, we um, ended on the relatively negative notes on the left side of the chart. Or maybe we could just like take a look at CNBC together. Everything was red, right? Down 2%. NASDAQ was down 4%. Russell down 3%. Uh, VIX was high, right? And the reason is because you could see that clearly across the news have not been really that positive, right? Despite the job report that we saw collectively. And we could open up this to talk a little bit more about, you know, like a refresher on like what really happened. So obviously with respect to the numbers that you see here, it um indicates a, a you know a positive report overall um but with respect to the 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 driver of it you could see that it's clearly driven by leisure hospitality healthcare um which you know makes sense during summer time period but with respect to the sustainability for the you know the the market to sustain this level of unemployment rates and also with the payroll that's highly questionable and people are basically um, contemplating, you know, and I'm talking about people psychologically from the economists influencing the public market, saying that, um, you know, the inflationary pressure is still out of control. Uh, the Fed needs to be a little bit more proactive. Um, so this is not um, a reflection on the future outlooks, but rather just a summer reflection. So that's a negative foreshadow if you kind of spin it that way, right? In addition to that, you can see also that, um, you know, there's been some additional uh, violence um, and uh, kind of stir that's happening with Russia and Ukraine war going on right now. Uh, I don't like the verbiage saying it's the beginning. Uh, I don't know what that really means. Um, the beginning of what? Another battle? Another major conflict between two countries? Uh, you know, this is... Um, why why can't we just like kind of fix it already you know small people are dying and uh, this will only dampen the economy um yeah and uh <clears throat> in addition to that uh you can see that obviously tesla on f this week right and also friday we were down six percent at one point if you take a look at it um not just like obviously tesla but across the market right we are like I, I recall we were down like 10% at one point um, a couple of days ago and then like today 6%. So we've been just basically selling off everything. And this looks very much like unfortunately like a head and shoulder pattern on a monthly perspective as well. Um, you could see that it's quite, uh, it's not exactly like it, but if you look at the on a monthly, it definitely looks it, right? And the reason is because like the weekly is forming a death cross and we're kind of gliding down to like 40 out of 70 looking for a bounce. Uh, on a daily right now, you could see that we are also quite elongated. 
um, a lot of separation. So this is actually not a terrible dip, to be honest with you, if you believe in this long term. Uh, Tesla is actually a good fundamental company. Uh, it's just that, you know, with respect to, uh, you know, the supply chain issues, with respect to the stir around, you know, the Twitter acquisitions, obviously global affair with respect to ukraine russian war and you know the cold war that we're still having with china so a lot of things are kind of dampening you know the, the the guidance and the outlook of the management team right so let's just take a look at the crypto um i would say the story is quite similar to what we were talked about so far um we literally have been staying at the same level for the last three days so far four days so far right it looks like we're just like kind of glued on this level are we a bottom bottom already let me see right let's daily look right now it looks quite bearish but you know we are not like a super high sky high level um on the weekly right now you are still looking bearish with this double heads unfortunately so and remember 1350 even though it would have been staying around this level is not sustainable because 1250 is the real level 1150 is the is not a real level 1050 is a real level um all the way down to 850 respectively and then obviously 500 and then you know i mean i hope we don't get to that level but that's that will be pretty disgusting uh for us to see another major correction that way um, that would be like a hundred something percent down sell from the peak that we were we were before more than a hundred percent obviously but uh i don't foresee that to be happening because on the month sale we should ideally see some like rebound and you know with this large separation it is incentivizing it more and more on a daily you know as the day rates going forward right and then uh on the bitcoin side of the equation i would say it's very comparable monthly is large separation weekly it is looking to um you know it needs to correct a little bit because of the large separation and you have these two heads right now uh on the daily you could see that clearly we do need to kind of come down with this like large separation as well so seeing 17500 15500 respectively will be necessary and uh to, so today is going to be an interesting day uh so new york knicks um i don't know if you saw the post that i did recently with uh Metal World Peace, or I call him Ron, Ron Artest. So I'm his business partner now, uh, and I'm supporting him alongside with one of the Lakers owner uh, and the uh, CEO of a major tech company. Um, and uh, what we're going to be doing um, going forward uh, is to raise a relatively sizable fund and also build a holding company um, to invest into media and tech. So I'll be one of the investment partners uh, on to, you know, serving as an advisor uh, and also obviously sitting on the investment committee uh, on driving changes. So I'll be going back and forth between L.A. and New York uh, while, you know, obviously working with bulk of my team members are on the West Coast, obviously. So I'm going to be opening up on uh, the New York office, which if you know the history of Ron Artest on Metal World Peace, he's uh, he's from Queens. Right, born and raised in Queens, uh, in Long Island City, in the projects, right? And me, I'm from Queens as well, but I didn't grow up in New York per se. I grew up in Hong Kong, but I also grew up in the projects. But, you know, with our, like, Queens connection, um, you know, collaborate, you know, our collaborative front, you know, Meta on focusing his, his vision and me being the strategic and, you know, uh, you know, a seasoned investor, if you may. Uh, combining with you know the some of the power players that we've on the team, we're gonna be making changes. Um, but I appreciate you guys for joining me. You know every single day on building our vision together is a journey that we're taking on the, together. So my success is your success. So let's just get at it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day today. I'm gonna hang out with him again. Uh, there's a New York Knicks event hosted uh, with Coinbase actually at the Rutgers Park. So um, if you guys know like where that is, that's like the famous uh, park where like Paul Pierce used to play. I think Dr. J as well is like the legendary um, urban uh, basketball court. So I'll be meeting some New York Knicks legend like Amari Stoudemire. Obviously, Ron played in the Knicks as well for a little bit. Um, and some I think Latrice Spiro as well or some, or some other people. I'm not sure, entirely sure. But it's going to be a fun day. But I look forward to it um, and have a good day and I'll check you out on the next one. Take care.